This tutorial is brought to you by Hey, what's up guys? My name is Josh Inobakure and welcome to Olufemi Tutorials. Hey, what's up guys? New tutorial. This tutorial we're going to use the new feature called Morph Cut that was included in the new 2015 update of Adobe Premiere Pro. I'd like to show you guys how Morph Cut works. Right now I have two tracks um, that are tracks of an interview. Check this out. This Let's back it up a little bit more. In bringing an end to sexual violence, this beta version will allow us. If you notice right here, whenever you film an interview, there's going to be portions that you have to cut out. Um, these could be portions where the interviewer, the interviewee, sorry, is saying um or is saying something that's not relevant to what you want the final edit to um, look like. So what you're going to have is you're going to have a bunch of these jumps. Sexual violence. This beta version. This is called a jump cut. It's when both pieces of footage are slightly different, um, but they're they're too similar to uh, put up right next to each right up next to each other because they're, uh, they 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 give an appearance that the the person is actually jumping from one spot to another. Sexual violence. This beta version. So what you usually do is you usually use two cameras and constantly cut in between both cameras. So when you have a when you need to create a cut um, with one camera because there someone said an um or something, you actually just cut to the secondary camera. Um, you don't always have the opportunity though to use two cameras, like in this case. In this case, I only had one camera. So what um, Morph Cut does Violence. This beta is it does its best to morph these two clips together so that this clip, this this cut, this jump cut, is. Uh, less noticeable. So check it, take a look at this jump cut again. This now we're going to go to morph cut. So what we're going to do is we're going to type morph cut into effects. Cool. I don't have to even type the whole thing here. I see morph cut underneath the dissolve uh, folder in video transitions. And I'm going to put it right here. Now uh, what it does is morph cut actually analyzes the background to find the face in the background. And what it does is it attempts to um, find the face and then after it finds the face it will fi um, it will find the faces sorry in both clips and then it'll begin to perform its magic of actually morphing both clips together. So uh, um, one thing, to realize is let's see is is that it may not work on the first time. You may have to extend or contract the length of this morph cut transition to make to optimize um, the effect to make it work the best. So let's uh, let's render go to sequence sexual render. Sexual violence. And out. This beta version will that worked pretty well. Take a look. End to sexual violence. This beta version will allow us to let's check it out one more time. To sexual violence. This beta version. Cool. Now I'm going to play through it, script through it slowly, and you can see what happened. Or you can see that right here, those two clips. You can't even tell that they were two separate clips because the morph cut transition blended it pretty smoothly. Sexual violence. This beta version. I'm going to take this off so you can remember what it used to look like. Sexual violence. This beta version. I'm going to undo that, what I just did. And now the morph cut is back on. Take a look. Sexual violence. This beta version will allow. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, guys. Josh Obakre here. Check out this new five part series talking about advanced transition techniques in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's pretty cool.